Okay, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial will be on, on about this beautiful organza crop top. It's not up to 22, so I'll call it a crop top. So I have my organza material here. Yeah, to know how much fabric to put on fold, just take it the largest measurement and add like two inches to it. Two inches. My largest measurement is is my bust which is 42 which is 10 and a half i added two inches to two and a half inches there making it 13 inches so we'll be drafting on it i tried making use of chalk on the organza but no. it's not visible enough so i'm changing to to pen now which i think is it's a bit visible and for your yes, organza, you have to pin it down, pin it down so that it will not shift away. I'm just trying to secure it with a pin here so that it won't shift. So, I want to have my starting point there. I'm still making use of the chalk, but don't worry, I'm going to I will change it to the pen. Shifting it so that you can see it very well. So I make use of the pen here, which I think is a bit visible. So to draft this crop top, you can just check on other video, videos that I've made. I've made a video on basic bodies pattern. If you have that knowledge, it will just be easy for you to draft. You can just take the pattern and place on it. The only thing you just do is just to minus maybe like four inches from your basic bodies. Because I think I made use of 22 inches in that video. If you minus 4 inches, that will give you 18, 18 inches, 17 inches is enough for crop top. So there, I measured my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement divided by 2, which is 7.5. Then downward to my bust line, I measured 8.5 for my ham hole. So there, I measured my bust measurement there. which is 10 and a half. My bust measurement is 42, which is 10 and a half. Then I repeated the shoulder measurement, which is seven and a half. I repeated it there so I can have my straight line in order to get the armhole curve. So that's the straight line to get my armhole curve. So I'm ruling the bust line out from my shoulder to waist I'm making use of 16 inches 16 inches so from just measure it run so that you can have a straight line there too So from the shoulder now, from the shoulder to my desired length for the crop top, I make use of 18 inches. 18 inches with one inch M allowance. I'm going to use the one inch to M the, the down part. So it depends on your choice. You can make it 16 inches, 17 inches, but 18 inches is good for me. So there, I'm going to have my waist measurement. My waist measurement, my waist measurement is 36. That is 9 inches. 36 divided by 4. 9 inches then. 
I added two inches because at that part I'm still going to pass uh, my robe inside so I don't need to be fitted it must be a bit loose and so I repeated that measurement I have there for my desired length for my desired length So, I'm still marking so I can connect the lines now from the desired length to my waist so for my bust I didn't remember to add my sewing allowance so I'm connecting now it so I'm trying to give my hammer that curvy shape i'm not minusing anything for this for the hammer i just want it like that it's very simple so i can cut out now i'm going to cut the front the back arm o first the back arm o i'm making is of one inch by three inches that is one inch for the depth and three inches for the width and for the front three inches width and three inches for the length then one inch for my shoulder slant that's it so simple to make so i'm cut i'm going to cut it I'm starting from the down part, then cut the upper part, and I'm still going to cut the front neckline. I mean the back neckline. Sorry, please. So I've cut it out. I'm going to cut the back neckline, which I said is one inch depth and three inches width so like that it's cut out i'll separate it so that i can cut the front neckline which is three inches three inches by three inches three inches width three inches for the depth that's it it's cut out so you have it like this I'm just going to I'm just trying to figure out the front well it has no front it has no back but because of the pain I used it was easy for me to get the front from the back from the top i'm going so, to measure and um, from the shoulder your up length you lay it measure from your shoulder to like maybe 15 or 16 inches My, mine is 16 inches for the waist that's where we'll be passing the rope buyers will pass through there's a rope at the front if you look at the picture the first picture there's a rope at the front, so I'm, I'm trying to add a straight line there okay. so that it, it will be easy for me to this side. Okay. pass. That, so. so we have it so the rope can pass through there. So here yeah, I have the sleeve. If you don't have any hanger on sleeve cutting, you can I'll put in the link in uh, the link box below. I'll put the link in the comment section or in the description box where you can check out our basic sleeve pattern basic sleeve pattern i'm supposed to use a make use of the pattern here but just to you know do the normal then these are how i do it just want us to see it make sure you pin it down 
Finitão. I want my sleeve to be 16 and half inches. The half inch for the upper part will to join it to the basic body, to the bodies. So I, I need 16 exactly. But I added half inch so that yeah, that will serve as the uh, allowance for the joining of the shoulder. So I added one inch at the M there. That will be the one to fold. I will fold the one inch. I have four inch there and six inches downward. Measure the six inches. Then I'll repeat that four inches there. Measure the four inch there, four inches there. Then I'll connect to the point I have up there. Then I'll look for the midpoint of that six inches, which is three inches. I will have a, a point there. Then I'll measure my apex uh, measurement. My apex measurement is 17. So eight and a half plus one inch. Then, then I can connect the, the point. And connect like so you can make use of your free hand so that is it So I can check. I'm trying to check if it matches with my ham, or even though I'm still going to have pleats, but not that too much pleats. Uh -huh. So it's very fine. I will cut out. I'm making use of everything I have there because it will have a elastic band. And where I put my hand, like six inches or five inches upward, I'm still going to add elastic to it. So I need that. I need it to be to be much so that to give me that puffy thing. I believe we understand. So with that, I can cut out. I'm just cutting the remainder that they in there. Okay, so I'll notch. So here we join the two shoulders, then the side. The sides, the two sides too, we we'll join it with maybe half an inch, half an inch is okay. And for the sleeve, we hem the down part, hem the down part. Now bring it back, we'll show us. So I've, I've sewn the sides, I've sewn the two sides. This is the rope casing. I hope you understand. I'm going to place it on that 16 inches I measured from the shoulder. That's why I'm going to place it all around. From shoulder to 16 inches. Then that's where I will put the rope casing.
I will put it on. I will come and show us. And for the sleeve, I'm going to attach my elastic five inches from the down part. Measure five inches, then you you attach your elastic. So after doing the rope casing, I pass the rope inside. And right now, I'm going to fix the sleeves and also end the shoulder. And at the shoulder, I gave it uh, a straight cut at the head, at the back, so that to be able to pass, you know, the head will be able to pass, pass through. Yeah, like keyhole at the back. Can you see that? So yeah, I'm going to put my button hole. Who can hide? I'll put it there, and I will show us the final. Look. Hello guys, this is the final look. I hope you like it. Can you see? Just give it a try. Give it a try too. Yeah, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, like, and share my videos. And click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you very much. Bye.